we are from india and uh, we are representing our indian culture indian music and indian woods instrument today so i would like to start with the uh, mandolin there's mr siraj ahmed siraj so siraj uh, comes from the traditional classical musical family uh, indian classical music family rather i say and uh, he is uh, the son of ustad amir husain khan sir allah rakhe khan sir allah rakhe khan sir whether we all know that the mandolin is a european instrument it comes from italy and uh, but uh, as we have a, now these days uh, this instrument is very famous in india and uh, some of the maestros have uh, converted the style to indian classical music style as we all know there are three types of uh, mandolin mandolin the first one is uh, the uh, back mandolin and the second one is uh, uh, the flat mandolin flat back mandolin which siraj plays so the flat back mandolin use thin sheet of wood for the body uh, rest on the side for string in the similar manner to the guitar flat back instruments are commonly used in irish uh, irish uh, irish british and brazilian folk music some modern brazilian instruments features an extra fifth course tune a fifth lower than the standard fourth course the one uh, maestro of india ustad nasir sajjad khan sahab who introduced mandolin to indian classical music in 1950 in bollywood music the mandolin got uh, fame from the bollywood to indian classical music and he was the one indian classical the, the first indian classical player the mandolin player now i would like siraj to show both the style the western the, the basic mandolin style and the indian classical playing Kashif is going to play and explain about sarangi
to Sarangi. Now I would like to share some more information about Sarangi, how the, how the Sarangi name comes first. According to some musicians, the word Sarangi is the combination of two words. It's from Persia, means sad. It means three. And the second word, that also from Persian, it's called Rangi. It means color. So the term Sarangi represents three melody strings. However, the most common folk etymology is that Sarangi is derived from Sol Rangi. It means hundred colors, indicating its adaptability to many styles of vocal music, its flexibility, tenability, and its ability to produce a large plate of tonal color and emotional notes. So according to some, the Sarangi now enjoys the status of a solo classical instrument due to the effort of Pandit Ram Narayan Ji. Pandit Ram Narayan, one of the legendary Sarangi players of India. The Sarangi has a box-like shape with three hollow chambers. Three hollow chambers, the, the first one is this one, the white one. Yeah, yeah. This is first chamber and the second chamber is this one. And the third chamber is the upper one. So the first one we call pate, stomach. So the between one we call it chhati, chest. And the last one we call magas, brain. It, it is usually around two feet and six inches wide. The, we talk about the first, the, the stomach. If we talk about the stomach, uh, the lower part, it can vary as there is a similar as well as a larger uh, variant sarangis as well. The lower resonance chamber or a pate is covered with uh, parchment made of a goat skin. And uh, the bridge has supported uh, the huge pressure of the approximately 35 to 37 sympathetic steel or brass strings. And uh, it, uh, it used a plate with a bow which is made of a horse tail hair. Now let's come to the playing part of the sarangi now. Now I would uh, request Kashif to please play some uh, fast piece. Now let's come to the third instrument. Philips. Can you please show the flute? So he is Mr. Shivit Prasanna. He also belongs to a classical Indian classical family. So now uh, the modern Indian flute used in Indian classical music is a treasure flute. In India it is known as Pansuri. Pansuri is originated from Sanskrit word which means Bans. And uh, the bans may bans is uh, which means bamboo, and uh, bansuri and the sur that means melody. Bansuri is one of the most enchant musical instrument used in India. In India, it's immensely liked with uh, uh, the Lord Krishna as his divine instrument, and it's often uh, associated with the Krishna Leela when Krishna used to. Uh, make people dance and used to play the people will, will be more you know happy and prosperous so that's called Krishna Leela. Bansuri is made of 
uh, from a single hollow shaft of bamboo with six or seven finger holes. The Bansuri range in size from less than 12 inches to near uh, nearly 40 inches. And the sound of Bansuri is generated from the resonance of the air column inside. I would like uh, to request Shibit to, to play some. Now let's come to Dabla, my instrument. We all know that it was invented uh, by Baba Amir Khusro. Baba Amir Khusro was from Turkey and it was invented in 13 year, 13 era. So let's come to the part of the light like to show you. Uh, it's made of a goat skin and there are three, three layers of tabla. The first one is called Kinar, the third, second one called Maidan and the third one called Siahi, the black one. It is tightened up with the goat and the stein and I have inserted the wood block into that. There is a body of wood which is steep wood. <laughs> Same in the baya, the left drum, but the only difference is it's made of uh, copper. The left drum we call baya and the right drum we call daya. That's the only, that, that was the most shrink information I could make it. Now we're gonna play a very small piece. There is a Bollywood song we have been requested to play a old Bollywood song from the movie of Raj Kapoor. The song name is Awara Hoon. 